Hi there, I'm Ben and welcome to a new series that I'm trying out called Let's Platinum. For this series I'm going to fully platinum games in a Let's Play style format, hence the name. Having said that, the videos are going to be edited and all the gameplay has been practiced beforehand so that the videos are as efficient and helpful as possible. Think of them as guides with a retrospective commentary rather than live. As you can see, the first game we're doing is Bioshock from the remastered collection on PS4 and Xbox One. That is important for this guide as we'll be using a glitch to get the difficulty trophies while actually playing on easy. If you're playing on PS3 or Xbox 360, this glitch doesn't work the same way or doesn't work at all. It depends on which region your version of the game is from. So I'm going to let the intro and the first part of the game play out now as it's all scripted at the start and there's nothing to worry about missable wise. I will just mention that you need to make sure that you have disable Vita chambers set to on before starting the game. Make sure you do not touch this option again. Vita chambers are in-game checkpoints and you need to finish the game without using them. You can constantly save whenever you want so it's not a problem anyway. Also, because I did it last time and I know it works, start the game on Survivor difficulty, we'll be changing it to easy shortly. I mentioned missable trophies before, there are some in this game, but if you follow this guide you'll get everything done in one single playthrough. Just so you know, the missable ones are Found Cohen's Room, Historian, Little Sister Saviour, Tonic Collector and Weapon Specialist. I'll be highlighting these as we go and let you know when and how you can miss them. I have played this game through to Platinum just before recording this guide so I have tested everything out with regards to missable trophies and most importantly the end game glitch we'll be using for the difficulty trophies. Usually I don't promote the use of glitches on this channel but this one is so damn convenient and requires no save file manipulation or anything like that. It's as simple as changing the difficulty from easy to survivor just before the last cutscene kicks in so I'm going to allow it just this once. I do have some of the early trophies for this game on my account already so you won't see the first few pop, but I will mention when you should be getting them. We'll be getting two trophies or achievements in this episode and there are going to be 12 or so parts or videos to this guide. One for each area of the game. The game is linear in structure but you can return to areas if you've missed anything up until the final boss fight that is. There are only two areas of the game that you cannot return to, and this first area, Welcome to Rapture, is one of them, so make sure you collect the two audio diaries that we get in this video, it's your only chance to do so. The other missable area is Rapture Central Control, but that's a lot later on. Right, that's all the formal stuff out of the way, we're actually in the game now. As you can see, I've just changed the difficulty to Easy from um, Survivor, we'll be changing it back right at the end that's it you just need to change it the two times and it will this glitch will work I mean it's hardly a glitch you literally just change the difficulty back after you finish playing and you get the trophies for it but what you do need to do is make sure that Vita Chambers disabled is on I know it's a double negative when it's off but just as long as the option is on that's what you need you need it on so they're not working in theory so I'm gonna skip all um, sequences like that you just saw we went down in the bathysphere um, that's sort of your teleportation between levels uh, I'm going to skip all sections like that just to make the videos shorter really so if we're not doing anything I'll cut them out so like here we, we have to pick that radio up we get introduced to Atlas and then we're going to move on and begin actually playing the game so this first area is like I said an area we will not be coming back to Luckily there are only two um, audio diaries there a bit later on, so not much to collect here, but they are 100% missable. Once you leave this area, you cannot return. So all we're doing is um, going through the motions at this point. There's a, a turret, or not a turret, sorry, a sentry. Um, we'll be doing the, dealing with those later on. That was a friendly one at the moment. You see the green light. This is our first weapon of the game, the wrench. Um, we do have this on easy now, and you're going to see how how easy it is actually. This game actually is. Um, in a minute, there's an enemy up here. Where is he? There he is. 
we're just going to hit him twice and that's it if we were still on survivor um, that hit would have taken maybe a third of our life away and he would have not gone down that easily he would have taken maybe six or seven hits it is a, a completely different game so I just picked up a few um, things there that edible things that give you health back um, and we're moving here this is the first I suppose oh, it's not missable you have to get this for the story this is the first plasmid plasmids are things we'll be picking up that are like think of them as like magic so you can see my hand is out there this is the electro bolt plasmid this allows us to open doors and get a trophy actually later on for electrocuting people in the water but these are special abilities on this difficulty probably won't be using them too much they're more of a, a puzzle thing opening doors and things like that but if you were on um, survivor difficulty you'll be using them to slow enemies down because once you hit them with an electro bolt which you're gonna see me do shortly in a minute uh, I'm just gonna go to the left there is an enemy to the right there uh, to the left down here this uh, I will just mention sorry I'm interrupting myself this is a Vita chamber as you can see we cannot use them you're going to want to check that that option is always set, but never change it back. You need to make, because the game can sort of flip it apparently, I haven't seen this myself. But you can see there, electrocute, hit, he dies in one hit now. Um, that is especially helpful if you are actually playing on Survivor, um, which is it's completely different, it really is a completely different. We're going to breeze through this game. Um, Mainly just collecting everything and getting all the missable trophies is the reason you want to do it on easy. It's going to make your time so much easier. You can get through this game in probably 10 to 15 hours, but on Survivor it's, you could double that because of the amount of deaths and how slowly you have to take things and defeating big daddies. That's just another thing entirely. On this you can take one down later on with a shotgun. Four hits of a shotgun will kill a big daddy. Doing it on Survivor you're looking at a five ten minute fight each if you don't um, prepare yourself properly with traps etc and they can hit you will kill you in one hit in this it's it, it's just not a problem so we're just moving up through this first area now um, getting the lift up to um, where we're going to be getting our first two audio diaries like I said, there isn't much to this area, it's just an intro area, so it's introducing you to our first weapon, the wrench, which we're not going to be using for much longer. We use it in the early game uh, when we don't have much ammo, but we're going to be getting a gun in a minute. There's some more health and stuff, like we're not going to need it. You can see there I've got six health packs and seven uh, hypo needles, um, which I'll explain in a moment, so there's another health pack. And this is the revolver, the first proper weapon of the game. Not going to use it, we've only got six rounds, so we'll just save it for now. Um, hypo needles are you inject yourself to get that blue bar up, that's um, your plasmids to take that blue bar down. So you can't use your plasmids if you've got no blue, I don't actually know what it's called, <laughs> energy. Um, uh, we're not going to be using it much. I don't. Um, obviously, you can use it if you want to. I don't. I stick to the guns mainly. It's just easier. So we're just going to kill this guy here, and then there's another one round here. There's nothing actually in this room, but we're going to use it to set some uh, some actions in motion. You can come in here and just grab some stuff. Uh, a thing you want to get in the habit of is loot everything. It's not so important now, but later on we will be doing crafting, and you need a lot of materials. Um, you, you don't get anything yet, like uh, we're just going to get money, ammo and health and things like that. But nothing um, yet, but later on there are a lot of materials we need to collect, so just get in the habit of it. So here we're going to get our first trophy, that's toaster in the tub. So electrocute these two guys um, when they're in the water. If you hadn't have gone in that room, they wouldn't have appeared. So do that and you'll get the toaster in the tub trophy, uh, which is the description is the player has shocked an enemy in the water so <laughs> that's it there are a few other we're going to be doing two three three more of that those um kills in this level so there's plenty of opportunities to get it just get it out of the way so you don't have to think about it um that was our first audio log on the table there 
Uh, you can hear it. No, you probably can't hear it because I've turned the sound down. Playing in the background. If you see that in the corner there, Diane Mc in McIntock. Um, I will show on the map every time I pick up an audio log, and I'll show at the end of every level which audio logs you should have. Like I said, this is one of two areas that is missable. Most of the times, if you do have something missing, you can go back to the area using the, using the bathysphere. So don't worry too much about that. So just doing a bit more looting. I'm going to go in the ladies' toilets here, in the dames, the dames toilets here. This apparition is going to happen. You can see flashing in the background there is our next audio log. We're going to get that in a second. Here we go. So a hole in the bathroom wall. New diary. I'm going to try and play them when I can. Obviously, you can't hear them, but you can hear the uh, see the subtitles just to know which ones are the same. Make sure you've got the same one. Um, again, on the map there. It's not so important in this level as we're just going to breeze through here. But later on, levels um, can become a bit of a maze. The map is actually really good in this game. It's uh, it doesn't try and be 3D or anything. It's just 2D with arrows pointing to new levels. So it's it's actually quite good. So here we have the first little sister. We're not going to be doing anything with this one, as you can't interact with this one. This is just an introduction to little sisters. Um, they are harmless, as are big daddies, as long as you don't take them on. If you go near a little sister, the big daddy is going to freak out and start reacting. Um, and if you shoot a big daddy they will then become hostile and you can't I'm not aware of I don't think you can you can run away from them but they won't go back to a a safe state after that they will chase you down so watch your fire watch your background if there are big daddies around if they're red like that you see his eyes are red that means he's hostile towards you um, obviously this one isn't this is messing this guy up but if he is red uh, in the in the open world later on, that means the big daddy is hostile towards you, and he's going to chase you down. On this difficulty, though, we're going to be taking down them down as we can find them um, to deal with the little sisters, which we are going to be saving. We're not going to be harvesting them. That is another thing we need to. I'll explain that later on when we actually get to them. There are none in this level, but um, yeah, little sisters. And big daddies, just watch your background. If you're on uh, survivor difficulty, for sure, big daddies can kill you. Especially those ones can kill you in one hit. There's another Vita chamber. I'm not gonna bother. Just loot and loot and loot at the moment. Um, so it did say make sure you save. Then the game actually told us to. So do save because this is the Vita chamber, um, and that would usually act as a checkpoint if you die. But if you die now. Um, because we have them off, you will just go to your last save. So it is up to you to make the saves. But you can do as many as you want. Uh, just rewrite saves if you want. Just keep a few going. Um, just make sure to remember to do them. I'll try and uh, do them as often as possible. So there's another opportunity to get Toaster in the tub. And there's going to be another two shortly. Uh, as we're going to get um, mobbed in a minute when we try and leave. Not too difficult on easy. Well, it's not difficult at all on easy. Um, there's another Vita chamber. As you can see, there's a fight going to happen in a minute. So you try and leave here, and then everything goes mental. So we'll just take this opportunity to look for some items. Uh, nothing here, nothing there. And they're going to come down, and they're going to jump into this water. As they do, shock it, and they'll both die. Um, there should be one to the right here. And then there's going to be another three come down the stairs. But again, you can just shock them. Um, and we're going to be coming to end towards the end of this level in a minute. We're just going to run around, um, search the bathroom behind us, and then that's it. And then we're moving on to the medical center, I believe, is next. Um, and that's going to be the next video after this. This is a nice short introductory one. But then we're going to get into the meat of the game afterwards. There's going to be... Big Daddies, there's going to be lots of collectibles, there's going to be new tonics and plasmids. Uh, I'll explain tonics later on. They're a passive ability as opposed to plasmids, which are um, something you have to act, you have to do yourself. 
tonics are passive buffs if you like so there's nothing really in here there's some bandages but just have a look around get used to just looking around into corners i'll try and do it as much as possible obviously as well um to make sure especially later on for materials like nine plus there and nine um you'll hardly ever see me use health um even in the late game well <laughs> saying that i might have to do i haven't played it yet i'm still playing and going i have played through the game once do have the platinum so i've checked where everything is and i know how everything works missable trophy wise um so yeah i'm going to be putting these out as i go so i'm record record this voiceover and then put it up so i'm trying to do a couple a day if you're following live now if you're a few weeks from now it doesn't really matter because they'll all be ready um but yeah we're coming up to the end here this is andrew ryan he's going to be talky 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 and then we're going to get out and we're going to leave this area for good so make sure you have well it's actually too late now um you need to already have the audio diaries by now so once we get to this new area in a minute so i'm going to turn around there we go um, I will quickly show you the two audio diaries you need to have if you haven't got them restart the game and go and get them so save the game at the beginning of this new area make sure you got these two audio diaries and you should also get the completed welcome trophy at this point so you will get it there I'm just making a save there uh, check the two diaries here we go doo -doo. right that's it for this one uh, next video is going to be medical pavilion I'll see you then